Welcome once again to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we have this time is the Tanaka Yo R Western Handled VG10 Nashiji Guto 180mm knife. So as mentioned, uh, the construction on these is three layers and what you've got in, is in the center harder core steel uh, that is the cutting edge. You've got VG10 full stainless steel at a heat treat around 6061 Rockwell. On either side of that hard core steel, which is stainless, you've got a softer stainless steel cladding. So it's an all stainless knife for easy maintenance. The cladding has what's known as a nashiji or pear skin kind of mottled finish. And on these, it's a fairly smooth finish. It will vary a little bit from knife to knife. These have some uh, cool character to them. The um, weight and dimensions is going to vary a little bit from knife to knife. It does look like that cladding comes over the top of the spine as well. The uh, weight on this one is 156 grams or 5.5 ounces and the edge length are right at about 190 millimeters so a little bit oversized about seven and a half inches. The overall length about uh, 313 millimeters and these are uh, fairly thick spine so they've got some definite they're stiff blades very noticeable in that respect and uh, so coming above the back of the the heel here, you've got around three millimeters, but then we thin out right away to about two and a half, 2.4, and pretty much hold that all the way through. There's not really much taper to it. And then you'll hit a fairly generous grind. So they start to thin it up at the tip. And the tip itself uh, thins up pretty well. It's not super skinny. It's got a little bit of meat there for some uh, resiliency and some backbone, but uh, uh, they grind it fairly generously. It's not super skinny at the edge, but uh, you know this kind of a compromise between performance and durability. So um, these knives, they're good performers. It's not gonna like ghost through things. It's not a laser, but uh, it's it's just a good, pretty much all around good performing knife. The blade height is pretty good at 46.8, uh, a little higher than some of these uh, 180 Gutos. So you've got pretty good clearance for your fingers, which can be an issue sometimes with the shorter Guto knives, or less long I should say. Um, handle type is a black pack of wood stabilized wood product, uh, nice fit and finish on it, everything's pretty smooth, a tight rivets are, are good as far as the you know, feel on those, smooth. It's a partial tang, so you can see the tang is pretty thick here, um, and then it comes down probably in this area and it, you can see it doesn't come all the way to the bottom, so it lightens up the handle and that brings the balance point a little bit further forward than it normally would with a full-on, you know, full-tang western or yo handle, so there's your balance point. It's going to be behind a pinch grip, but it's still, like I said, further forward than it normally would be with a full-tang handle. So it's, it's a very comfortable knife. It's got a good feel to it. The... Um, look of it is uh, got a lot of handcrafted character so you've got a kind of a frosted blade road at the bottom and then you can see the core steel peeking out from the cladding they've got hand chiseled kanji which is very well done and then on the left side of the blade it's basically plain there's your nashiji or pear skin finish into your blade road or grind down to the edge and there's your core steel peeking out uh, I can't help but think this might be a really good introduction to for someone uh, to kind of handcraft a Japanese uh, cutlery that uh, wants something all stainless but with a lot of character to it. So it's got enough meat behind the edge and the tip where it's got a little bit of durability, um, kind of good performance but not a super skinny knife and you know not I'm not going to say it's not delicate but you know it's got a little bit of meat to it but there's your profile really smooth profile a uh, good all-around profile fairly low on the tip almost a little santoku style so i'm not going to get super high on a rock but i can get fairly high so this knife will do nice good with a kind of a shorter rock and push pull cuts a little bit of chopping towards the back so just kind of a good all-around knife so it's a neat little package so it's a nice lineup here so this is the uh, Tanaka Western or Yo VG10 Nashiji Gyuto 180mm knife.